right, so this is my hotel room. So I'm currently in Orlando, Florida for Grace Hopper Conference. Uh, Google sent me out here to take a look at the events and what Grace Hopper has to offer, especially being one of the only like women uh, software engineers in my in my team in my like lower org. It'll be exciting to see what's what's happening. So the event starts tomorrow. I just flew in. Um, it's currently like 11 p.m. So I flew in from the Bay Area. Uh, excited to see what's about to happen, so I'll try to get footage of everything. So I just went to Grace Hopper Conference 2023. Uh, Google sent me out as part of YouTube data for trust and safety and I was luckily able to go and take a look, network, uh, just connect with other women. And so giving a sort of reflection on how the event went. So I'm gonna show a couple of clips here of me like coming into my hotel, for example, um, how the venue looked like and then how the career fair was, how the networking events were, how the private parties were, and then some food items. And so to get started at least, uh, I'm going to show this clip here. The event was that this was apparently the biggest GHC has ever been. A lot of students lining up for the career fair. Uh, I didn't take footage of this, but when people were allowed to go in to the career fair, people were running and people were shoving. So that in itself was kind of a mess, kind of psychotic. Um, apparently cops had to get called in on the second day and third day just to mitigate uh, people running, people shoving. And then another thing I noticed as well was during the career fair, so I went inside just to take a look at um, the different booths available and how the general vibe was. and. There are a lot of cisgendered males at this conference, which is quite interesting. And so I get it in the sense of like, you come here as an ally, completely fine. But for a women tech conference, where the whole message and the whole purpose of this conference is to help enable women feel more comfortable, feel more safe in order to network in an already male-dominated environment, where it's already hard enough to sort of break out of your shell and compete against these men where it's a male dominated field, right? It was it was interesting because they were dressed up in suits and it was clear that all they wanted to do was try to take interview spots or get like referrals in a sense. Like I went to talks or yeah, I went to career session talks, I went to networking sessions, I went to learning labs for example, and there were no men in there. They were the only men that I saw were at the career fair. Like of course in this case I can't judge or in the sense of like if you're non-binary perfect this is a perfect conference for you for example but if you're a cisgendered male and you're coming here to like in a sense just get a job interview and try to like get a referral in that case you're at the wrong conference and i agree in the sense that like jhc and anita b can't ban males from attending entirely like i think that's wrong but i do think it is also wrong for a guy to come in here that really doesn't care about women 
equality in a sense in this workforce. Like for example, on my team, there's only two other women on a team where it's predominantly like 17 dudes. And it's, it's clear in the sense of like, even in college, like my system, my upper division system programming class had basically, I, I was pointing with one other girl in my project group, but the entire discussion were just guys. And like, if you miss class, you, like people would know if you miss class. And so super male dominated field, it's, it's kind of intimidating to try to compete against everyone else and feel comfortable in your own shoes. Uh, that you pick the right field, right? And so that's that's one problem that's been lingering for many years ever since, or in any engineering field, not just software engineering. And it's it's kind of hard for like college students to, to see that and to, well, not see that. I mean, they can definitely see that, but it's kind of hard for them to break out of their shell and feel comfortable just kind of like fighting for their own shot at like getting a job, getting an internship. Like I remember when I went to career fairs, I never went to GHC, by the way, when I was in college. I um, went to career fairs like at my university. And those also male dominated, but no one complained about guys and girls attending the, those, right? Like those are just general career fairs. It makes sense for in this case for people to complain about uh, guys attending a women tech conference where it, the whole purpose is to help out minority women to like help them get a right chance and right shot at a potential internship or networking. Like I met so many people, for example, at the community lounges, which by the way, I love the community lounges. I went to the San Diego one since uh, I'm born and raised in San Diego. I met this cool girl that worked at Northrop, for example, and I usually worked at Northrop and we connected. And yeah, like connecting with all of them at like on LinkedIn and in person was amazing uh, just to hear those stories. And then also was able to attend like this YouTuber dinner. Um, so a bunch of different YouTubers uh, in the org went to GHC as well and different teams. So I don't know them, but I was able to meet them through this conference. And so, so that was a great time. Met people from like Zurich, for example, people that worked in San Bruno, but people that also worked in Mountain View. So it's super cool meeting them and seeing what their experiences have been as well. And then also attended some private events, like I attended a UC Berkeley event, so connected with other alumni, current students. And then I also went to a Roblox private party. That was fun, super fun. My friends are a recruiter at Roblox. And so I ended up going and just also connecting with other uh, Roblox people and then also some college students, other, and then some other YouTubers also came along as well. And yeah, we just talked ate, drink, good time. Other than that though, uh, GHC overall, I had a great time in, in terms of like the networking sessions and the talks that were given, um, but they definitely need to improve the career fair and the expo and how to handle that. To be honest, not quite sure what the solution should be for helping, in this case, women feel heard in the sense of like, if you're at a women's conference, you shouldn't have to worry about a guy taking your spot, right? And so that was, that was, that's an interesting subject in that sense. I do think maybe potentially like guys tickets can cost more, girls, women tickets can cost less or something. Not sure, but I feel for the students in this case, the drop market is very volatile right now. And to have that trickle into a career fair, it was, it was quite shocking to say the least. And so I hope it does get better from here on out and hopefully the market gets better and hopefully GHC can return back to what what I heard about it in the past where it was a great chance for college students to get an opportunity.